Pope St. Cornelius was the Bishop of Rome from March 251 until his martyrdom in June 253. The Roman Catholic Church commemorates his feast day every September 16 along with St. Cyprian, the Bishop of Carthage, also a martyr. It is important to note that during the reign of Emperor Decius, from 249 to 251 AD, Christians were persecuted in the Roman Empire, in the year 250, he ordered all citizens to perform a religious sacrifice or else face death. Many Christians refused and were martyred during this period, including Pope St. Fabian. The papal seat remained vacant during this period. In the 14 months without a pope, the leading candidate, Moses, also died under persecution. In 251, Decius left Rome to fight the invading Goths. During this time, the Roman clergy decided it was time to choose a new bishop. At the same time, it became an issue whether to accept lapsi, those apostates who renounced their faith under persecution by Roman authorities, back to Christianity. Two groups arose during this period. One group was led by Novation, a priest in the Diocese of Rome, who believed that those who had stopped practicing Christianity during the persecution could not be accepted back into the church, even if they repented. The other group including Cornelius and Cyprian of Carthage said the lapsi could be restored to communion through repentance, demonstrated by a period of penance. The more moderate Cornelius was unwillingly elected over Novation and others, elevating him to the seat of Peter as the 21st Pope in March 251. One of Pope Cornelius' challenges was to bring an end to the schism brought on by Novation, one of the early known antipopes. Cornelius's next action was to convene a synod of 60 bishops to acknowledge him as the rightful pope. The council then moved to excommunicate Novation, as well as all Novationists. Also addressed in the synod was that Christians who stopped practicing during Emperor Decius's persecution could be readmitted into the Christian community only after doing penance. The verdict of the synod was sent to all bishops to accept Cornelius as the new bishop of Rome. It is quite notable contained in these letters provided information on the size of the church in Rome at that time. Accordingly, the Roman church had 46 priests, 7 deacons, 7 subdeacons, 42 acolytes, 52 austeri, and over 1,500 widows and persons in distress. The letters also mentioned that the Cornelius had a staff of over 150 clergy members and the church fed over 1,500 people daily. From these numbers, it has been estimated that there were at least 50,000 Christians in Rome during the papacy of Pope Cornelius. In June 251, Emperor Decius was killed in battle with the Goths. However, the persecution resumed under his successor, Trebonianus Gallus, who ordered the exile of Cornelius to Centumcethlae, Italy. The letters he sent while in exile are all written in colloquial Latin, suggesting that Cornelius came from a financially average family and was given an ordinary education as a child. Another letter mentions an office of exorcist in the church for the first time, which is believed to be the basis of the canon law requiring each diocese to have an exorcist. Pope Cornelius died in June 253. The Liberian catalogue ascribes his death to the hardships of banishment. Later sources say he was beheaded. His head was claimed by Cornelimunster Abbey near Aachen during the Middle Ages. He was entombed in a catacomb near the chapel of the popes, behind a Latin inscription that translates to Cornelius Martyr. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.